Hi everybody, welcome to Mompreneur Tube. This is our second session and I am so excited today to interview this mompreneur, Lisa Laboy. Lisa is a full-time photographer and a mom of four gorgeous, beautiful girls. And I just want to, first of all, Lisa, thank you for joining us here on Mompreneur Tube. Thank you for having me. Well, we're gonna get right into the journey. And how, tell the viewers a little bit about how did you become a photographer? How, like, what was that journey for you? Did you always know you wanted to be a photographer? Was that always the way you generated income for yourself? No, I had no idea I wanted to be a photographer. <laughs> <clears throat> I actually, I went to school for nursing. I went to school for cosmetology. And my heart just was never in it, mm -hmm. never fully in it. Um, I didn't know what I was going to do. I had my first little girl and wanted to stay home with her. I didn't want to be gone all day. I wanted to see her first. I wanted to be a part of everything. Um, and I got a nice camera and I started playing around. I started taking pictures of families and friends and discovered that I was quite professional when I did it. It wasn't like a friend taking a picture of a friend. It was more, um, I mean, it was friendly, yes. but it was more, I knew what I was doing just naturally came to me and I love it and one thing led to another and before I knew it I was doing families I didn't know and it just grew and grew and grew and I was just very lucky. Oh yeah. that is so awesome. Mm -hmm. So we are actually in her studio today which is, well why don't, why don't you tell a little bit about your studio because I, I believe you have a lot of inspiration when you walk into your studio. I do. Um, my This was my father's um, office area and we lost him six years ago and I was in here one day and I thought my gosh this is just perfect um, I have my studio area I have my office area and it's pretty special to me because then it's kind of a gift from my daddy that this area is here um, so, so yeah it's, it's, it's great it's, it's, I, I love it it's really great place this is the first time I've been here yeah. so tell us a little bit like Obviously, you wanted to stay home, and that, mm -hmm. that was your, your driving why, your driving factor as to, hey, I want to make this work. But now, since your business has grown, like, what inspires you? What, what gets you up every day to know that, oh, I, this is right for me, and, and why photography? My kids and God. <laughs> um, my kids every day inspire me. I look at them, and I want to capture every moment of their youth because time goes so fast. And I know with other family members or other families that, especially now in the digital age, a lot of pictures um, aren't saved and kept and cherished as much. They're on your phones. They're, um, you're not getting prints to hang on your walls or put in your wallets or anything like that. So um, it's, I think my kids definitely inspire me because I want to capture their youth and their growing up and family. Um, by the grace of God, I am where I am today because I love what I do and he just keeps blessing me day after day. I always think I've done everything and then the next day I get another session that I've never done before and it's, it's amazing. Um, I'm also blessed with a, a wonderful husband who's very supportive, my partner in crime, my assistant, my everything, so, <laughs> so yeah. That's awesome. So let's get a little bit into the grit of being a mompreneur because family, life, business, balance. Let's keep the journey real for, for moms here that potentially are looking maybe to start their own business or, or maybe even become a photographer. Mm -hmm. how, how, do you, how do you juggle? How do you balance? How do you keep everything aligned? What does your mom schedule look like? It's hard. <laughs> it's hard. Um, because it is myself and my husband, we're a team and we do this together, I don't have the option really of daycare um, because when I leave to go into a session, I need to have somebody with my kids as well. Um, so I'm very fortunate to have my mother-in-law who watches the kids and stuff for me. Um, but it is a struggle editing, you know, a lot of people think you just go and you take the pictures and you're done. 
80% of my work is sitting at a computer editing and it's really hard when I have the kids saying, mama, uh, play with me, mama, I'm hungry, mama this, mama that, especially during the summer when they're <laughs> home all the time. So it can be a struggle, but it's a balancing act and you find what works out for you and, and it's, it's wonderful, it's a wonderful thing. That's awesome. Yeah. And she listens to country music while she's editing. <laughs> it makes it a little bit easier. I do. It <laughs> totally classic. gets me in the zone. <laughs> so tell, tell the viewers a little bit, like, what, what do you think is your, your biggest challenge? And you may have even touched on it a little mm -hmm. bit here already, but more so, what do you do to overcome it? Because I think for moms, especially mompreneurs, it's really easy to get into that overwhelm mode. Mm -hmm. And obviously we want to take moms out of the maxed out mom syndrome, out of that mode. And having your own business is the perfect opportunity to do that. But let's face it, there right. are moments where we all want to melt down still. Right. What do you do when you're faced with one of those challenging days? And what do you do to overcome it? That's where my husband really comes into play. Um, I'm able to in a sense, freak out on him in a little bit and be like, oh my gosh, I have this to do, I have that to do. How am I gonna get this done? How am I gonna get this done? And he'll, he'll ground me and he'll tell me, you know, it's, it's one step at a, st a time, honey. Do the first one, then do the second one. Don't get all stressed out. And so he really helps me to put things into perspective because I do tend to pile things on. Um, but it's, it is, it is a struggle. Um, so, and I think I'm, I'm losing focus where you're talking, but for me, it's hard with the kids. Mm -hmm. Again, when they want to do stuff with me, that's, that's one of my struggles that I deal with because I have to find time for them and for my, my work. Mm -hmm. um, but I think really, truly, my husband is what, what grounds me and helps me from getting all frazzled. I, I like that you came back to that because yeah. that's initially exactly what I heard mm -hmm. just coming out of your, your mm -hmm. voice, that having that, that rock, in a sense, in, in your day that... It is disconnected, mm -hmm. but yet can come into where you are and be like, okay, yeah. you got this. There are forward. times of the year where, it, I mean, it, fall is definitely the busiest with weddings and families and seniors, and it gets to be a lot. And I, I like I said, I tend to stack things on and stack things on. Uh -huh. So it's nice to have somebody that brings you back down. <laughs> awesome. Lisa, thank you so much for joining us today on Mompreneur Tube. Thank you for keeping the journey real for so many moms. If somebody wants to get in contact with you and you know look at your services or maybe even has a photography question or something like that, um, or check out this like amazing studio, <laughs> how would they do that? How would they get in contact with you? Well, I have a website, www.laboyphotography.com. I also have um, my email is laboyphotography at gmail.com. And the number you can reach me at is 920-912-6792. Thank you again for joining us. I really appreciate you taking mm -hmm. the time. And if you would like to be featured on Mompreneur 2, please reach out to me via Facebook message. I would love to get in contact with you. And for all you wonderful moms out there, my wish for you is that you release your Mompreneur spirit so that you can fulfill the purpose in your heart just like Lisa is doing. Take care and have a great day. Bye. <laughs> Good job, Lisa. Okay.